Hi, I'm Chris Wall, and today we're going to talk about cloud clustering with Rubrik. So let's take a step back and talk about how Rubrik works today on-premises for your virtualized or physical resources. So we have an instance here where there's a Rubrik cluster on-premises. We're protecting virtual machines, physical workloads, NAS, et cetera, using SLA policies. And these policies are protecting the data on-premises into the cluster and optionally sending it to a repository such as S3 for long-term archive. And that's great, but what about all the applications that you have running in the cloud, such as up here, running in EC2, and et cetera? How do you protect those? Well, today I'm going to talk about actually putting a rubric cluster into the cloud. And the way that's done is we actually run a four-node cluster in a cloud environment. These are all rubric nodes running in the environment that is something like AWS from Amazon or Azure from Microsoft. So you're going to instantiate this cluster, and using the same SLA policies that I talked about earlier, you can protect all of these workloads, which is kind of a cloud-native way of providing protection. So you'd assign your SLAs here. You'd be able to protect all these different workloads directly inside of, as this example shows, AWS, and then send that data to a local S3 bucket. This allows you to protect the workloads that are running in your cloud environment without having to consume any of the bandwidth going back to the on-premises environment and giving you the ability to run all of these rubric instances on demand. So this is a high-level overview of how cloud clustering works with Rubrik. If you'd like to learn more, we have a technical deep dive video that explains it in further detail.